Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Scott Turner and why his offensive play calling and his offensive scheme have been part of the problem for the Washington football team's offense, and I'm going to be talking about how we can improve it and get our offense going. I'll show you guys some next-gen stats and some charts to back the information up. If you guys are new, subscribe for Washington and NFL content. Let's get into it and make sure you guys check out House of Hoodies. Use code Pedro for 15% off. They got a nice Sean Taylor jersey hoodie, so go ahead and check them out. So as you guys all know, the offense has struggled this year, and part of that definitely is due to the lack of players, skill position players on offense, and not having a great quarterback. But a lot of that also has to do with Scott Turner. And this game was absolutely terrible against the Rams negative six total yards on offense in the second half and not a single first down and a huge contribute contributor to that is us not throwing the ball down the field i mean if you look at kyle allen's uh throwing chart this is it and sure he only played one half but he only had one throw that was 10 yards or more every other one he had three that were past or behind the line of scrimmage he had one that was directly on the line of scrimmage and then the rest of them were like five yard throws and that is not on Kyle Allen because if you watched his tape in Carolina he had a lot of deep throws and Scott Turner you got to remember he only was the offensive coordinator for the Panthers in their last four games and he Kyle Allen was definitely throwing less deep shots then and you know we just have to throw the ball deep because something that Lake Lewis said that was very true, he said, until Scott Turner looks to throw deep on occasion, defenses are going to bring pressure on whoever the QB is and stack the box against the run. The play calling is looking suspect right now, regardless of Aaron Donald's uh, perfor or dominance. And yeah, he's right. I mean, when they know you're not going to throw the ball down the field, they're just going to stack the box, expect a run or expect a short pass, and they're going to be able to defend it. I want to, and also Scott Turner, his, um, I do not like so far how he's used Antonio Gibson. I think he used him pretty well against the Ravens, but besides that game, I think Antonio Gibson needs more carries, and I don't think, I think he needs to have more carries on the outside. If you look at his run chart, if you look at it, this game right here, he had no carries to the wide left, no or uh, three carries to the wide right. All of his carries were pretty much in the middle. He had eight carries um, for 21 yards. I don't like that. Get him the ball outside a little bit more. You saw what the Rams did. Four carries for 17 yards on the outside. They got to do that more. You can't keep running the ball down the middle. You look again. Cam Akers right here, <clears throat> two carries for 49 yards on the right side. You can't just run the ball down the middle every single time. It's not going to work. I really hope um, he gives the ball. To, I think Gibson needs more rushes and, you know, vary it up a little. Like I said, not down the middle every single time. Vary it up. And also, give him some slip screens. I mean, this game, he did get a lot of screens, but none of them were slip screens, and I thought that worked really well against the Ravens. This is Dwayne Haskins' um, you know, throwing chart, passing chart against the Ravens. You know, Again, look at all the screens. I mean, look at all the screens and the passes at the line of scrimmage or behind it or barely past it. He had definitely some uh deep throws but not many and you know a lot of people were saying when Dwayne Haskins was only throwing checkdowns you know that that's on Dwayne Haskins he doesn't know the system so that's why they're only giving him the giving him making him throw screen passes but now that you see Kyle Allen played who he knows the system perfectly and Kyle Allen isn't throwing any deep shots I mean I guess you could say I haven't watched the film but I guess you could say part of that could be on Kyle Allen for not making the correct reads but you know you gotta take it once in a while you have Terry McLaurin who's a great deep threat give him the ball I mean it's just like look at this this is pathetic I mean, I love screen passes and I love giving the ball to Antonio Gibson, but you can't just throw the ball 
10 yards or less every single time, especially, I mean, if you're third and long, you got it. You can't just throw a screen pass every time. They got to do better. I did like what Scott Turner did against the Ravens. I thought he played it pretty well, especially against the Ravens who have pretty good pressure. I thought he did well, got some nice screens. And, you know, we got a couple of deep shots. Got this one right here to Terry McLaurin. That was like a 39-yard um, play. You got a couple other ones that were 10 plus. And I thought he did pretty good. I liked how he used Antonio Gibson in this game. I thought he did it perfectly. Would have liked a little bit more, um, give him a little bit more touches in the run game. But besides that, I thought he used him pretty well. And I would like them to use Gibson like that in the future. Give him more besides screens. I would like to see him line up as a receiver a little bit more. Give him some crossing routes. He had a crossing route against the Ravens where he got a bunch of yards. I would like to see him uh, do that a little bit more. Um, and another thing, the offense, I correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they've scored a single point, one single point, in their first drive in any of the games this year. And again, that is pathetic. You have to start out strong. And that, I mean, of course, part of that is on the players. But again, you're an offensive coordinator. You are the ones calling the plays. You have to do better. And again, also this, this like to two minute drills that we've seen so far have not been good at all. We've been, you know, playing for field goals. Like it was, I can't remember the, exact situation but last half right before the half instead of taking a shot down the field or getting some more yards so we can get closer to like a 20 yard throw to the end zone we throw like a three yard pass to Isaiah Wright and he ends up staying in bounds and we waste like 30 like a timeout I think so that was absolutely terrible I have not liked the two minute drill from Scott Turner I have not liked the red zone uh, how he's, you know, called re plays in the red zone and how he started off games, you know, have not liked it at all. We'll see how he improves, you know, I'll give him a little bit more time because again, it's only been five weeks and, you know, Dwayne Haskins probably wasn't his guy. We'll see how he does with Kyle Allen um, in a full game. You know, that was only, that was less than a half, but so far I have not liked what I've seen from Scott Turner and Kyle Allen um, here. I, I, just for an example, let's go to 2019 and like just a random week in 2019 and just look at his, you know, play chart. So let's just go week 13. He had a decent game, nothing special, but this is his play chart right here. This was before I believe Scott Turner was the offensive coordinator. You know, a lot of plays behind um, 10 yards, but he also had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a, like a crazy amount past 10 yards and, you know, had one, two, three, four past 20 yards. So I would like to see some shots down the field. And I know you only have Terry. Terry's re your really only deep threat, but I mean, he's still amazing. Give him two, three deep shots a game. It's unacceptable to not get carry some deep shots and you know you gotta play to your um, best player's strengths and so far Scott Turner hasn't done that I want to see him improve on using Terry and especially Antonio Gibson and the biggest thing is take some more shots down the field oh one thing I haven't talked about is how do you first of all you want to try to set up so where you know Wes Martin isn't matched up against Aaron Donald every time and you know that's fine if you don't because at the end of the day that's a defense's defense's decision on where they're lining up but it was Wes Martin versus Aaron Donald one on one almost every single time you cannot do that at all you have to help out Wes Martin Wes Martin is not good at all but if you expect him to block Aaron Donald, the best defensive player in all of football, 1v1, you are crazy, and they gave him so much run-up space, it, it, if you watch some of the films, some of the, like I said, I haven't watched all the film, but I've watched a few plays on Twitter, and you know, the way they attacked the like the pass protection and stuff like that, they just let the Rams wreck the game, their D-line wreck the game, and part of that, you know, is Alex Smith, you know, not being as mobile as he used to be, but a lot of that is the play calling. Um, so yeah, I want to hear what you guys have to say 
Um, go ahead and check out Next Gen Stats. I love what they're doing. Here's um, Antonio Gibson's um, running chart right here. J again, just right down the middle. I want to see some more outside zones. Like this one right here, he gained five yards on that. I like that. Um, give him more plays like that. But I mean, if something's not working, switch it. Go to something else. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on those post notifications. And yeah, let me know what you think Scott Turner needs to um, improve on. I think he's got to give more touches to Terry, AG, or Antonio Gibson. And you know, get the ball down the field a little bit more. Peace.